Hello guys and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a full day wear test of the new CoverGirl Outlast foundation that I literally found at Target for $2.68. So uh, it's normally $8.99, but I my Target had my exact shade on clearance for $2.70. And like so Today I'm going to be doing a full day wear test on this foundation and seeing if it can live up to the claim of 24 hour foundation. So if you guys are interested, just go ahead and keep watching. We're just going to get into it. Okay, so the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation. I haven't seen much of this foundation going around YouTube, but I know that the concealer is actually a pretty big hit. And when I was roaming around my Target and saw the yellow sticker on here, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta try that. It does <clears throat> claim to be 24 hour foundation with a sunscreen. Um, it has an SPF of 20, uh, so that's really nice. I typically use the Infallible Fresh Wear, and this has an SPF of 25 as well. Um, so I got the shade 825 Bush Buff Beige. I cannot talk this morning. Um, and it does claim to be up to 24-hour wear that won't let you down. Sweat-proof, transfer-proof, humidity-proof. <clears throat> oil free, won't clog pores, dermatologist tested, and suitable for all skin types. So just a little bit about my skin. I do have oily skin, yet I have dehydrated skin. So I typically produce excess oil right in here in my cheeks, in my forehead, and on my nose. Today I am actually celebrating a late Valentine's Day with my husband and we are going to Monterey, California and we are going to be on the coast where it's pretty humid and I am curious to see if this will hold up and it's got some SPF which is good since we will be out in the sun so I'm excited to test this guy out. Um, I will use it with some other products that I know and love so I can really get a good gauge. Okay, so it is a squeezy tube. Typically, I know that just like a solid one or two pumps of a foundation will be enough. So I'm going to kind of try and match the amount I normally put on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. sponge. I love this thing. It is so big and it blends my makeup out really, really fast. I think that's a pretty good shade match. I'm typically not the best at shade matching, but I think that looks pretty good. It does have a little bit of a fragrance. It's kind of um, a floral fragrance. It's kind of perfumey. Um, if fragrance bothers you, it might irritate you, but fragrance typically doesn't bother me. I look for it. I look for it to not have fragrance, but if it does, as long as it doesn't break me out, I typically don't really mind it. It's looking very, very nice on camera. Um, up close in my mirror, it is delivering like a little bit of a medium to full coverage. I could use a little bit more coverage right through here, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and layer it up. Off of first impressions, I think my skin's actually looking really nice. I think it is minimizing the pores on my face. For sure, I think it may be oxidized, maybe like a very small smidge. Okay, so it's been sitting on my face for about five minutes now and it dried down um, to about a satin matte finish. I would not call this a powder finish. It still has a little bit of um, dew on the skin. And I looked on the website and I couldn't find any claims about what type of finish it was or um, what type of coverage it claimed to have. So off of my first impressions, I would say that it's medium to full coverage buildable and I would call it a satin matte finish. Um, so it is now 9.27. I am going to do the rest of my makeup um, in fast motion and then come back and see how everything else went on top of it. And I will do some checkout check-ins throughout the day to show you guys if it can handle the 24-hour claim that it does have. I will not keep this on my face for 24 hours, but I'm hoping I can get at least a good 12-hour wear out of it.
Okay, the makeup is on. It is now 10.03, and I think everything went on really, really nicely. Let me take a close look. My pores are very minimized. The makeup looks smooth. It might look a little makeup-y up here. So far, I think the foundation is looking really, really good. I don't, I don't really see a big difference from when I do my normal routine with the products that I love. So I think so far, really, really good. I'm impressed by this $2.68 find that I found at Target. I think it's a perfect color match. It didn't oxidize a whole ton. And once I got all of the other products on, it meshed really well together. I love that this thing has SPF in it. Um, I love to take my lunch outside. I try to spend as much time as I can outside since I work in an office. And it's nice that there's some protection from the sun. We don't need no premature wrinkles up in here. It doesn't look heavy on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Honestly, so far, I'm really, really enjoying this, but the test is, let's see how long it wears throughout the day. So I am going to go about my day. We're going to go get some brunch over in Monterey. I will do some check-ins for you, let you know how it's holding up in that humid climate. And I'm going to try to get 12 hours of wear out of this, so that way we can get a good test. It does claim to be 24 hours, but I am not going to do that. <laughs> Before I leave for the day, I wanted to quickly zoom you guys in so you could see how the skin is looking. The skin looks smooth. These pores here look pretty minimized. Um, I did not use any type of primer today. I typically don't use primer, so when I do these, I try not to use primer as well. Hello guys, so it is now, what time is it? One o'clock? And I've had my makeup on for three hours. And what do you think? It looks, it looks good. <laughs> a man of many words. Okay, let's get a close up. Um, things are looking good. Nothing, nothing has changed in three hours. So, so we are right on the beach, and there's like humidity in the air. And so far, the makeup has not broken up at all. So far, so good. I'm really, really liking it. But it's only been three hours, so I will definitely let you guys know if things change after a little bit more time. So we're going to finish up our meal, finish up our drinks, and we'll see you guys later. It is 7.48, and I have now had the makeup on for 9 hours, and I think it is looking absolutely amazing. Like, we might have a new holy grail on our hands. This is the face up close. Now, as you can see, there's like almost no breaking apart, no bunching. Um, I think it looks absolutely amazing for nine hours of wear in the sun, on the beach, like how I was today. Um, I am pretty impressed. You can see just... You can see the oil, but there's no breaking apart. Um, typically, I would have some breaking apart around my nose. Right here, you can kind of see it starting to happen right there. Um, but honestly, that is not that much. Honestly, that restored things back to almost how they started. <sighs> okay, I believe that I have my final thoughts. I think that this foundation could be like one of my new everyday go-to's because it's $8.99 full price. I got it at Target for $2.68. So if I can find it on sale more often, I am so in. I think that for nine hours of wear, this touched up like as if I just put it on. I couldn't ask for a better touch up. It brought me exactly back to where I started. It didn't just mattify separating old worn makeup. It actually stayed completely intact and when I mattified it, it just brought it back to its original version. I would 10 out of 10 recommend it, especially especially if you guys can find it on sale. But 
the $8.99 original price I think is still phenomenal. So there you have it. Those are my final thoughts. I love the foundation. I will continue to put this in my everyday routine and I recommend it to you guys. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. And I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your days. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.